He's not narrating. Good morning. Thank you for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. We are confirming your shipment of 1,327 cardboard boxes to your place of work. Can you verify that this is correct? Yes. Excellent. Your order will <laughs> arrive shortly. Thank you again for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. Now we're free to just do what we want. We're not even disobeying anyone. We just have to make choices on our own. I can't handle this responsibility. Oh no. Come back. No. Come back. I need someone to disobey. <laughs> Nintendo. Rewrite this game so it holds my hand. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. 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 Let's we'll try to not destroy the world again. <laughs> we'll, we'll listen. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up that to his was boss's so much office, last time. hoping he might yeah. find an answer there. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> let's just go up to the boss's office, I guess. Yeah, let's... <gasps> oh, God. Yeah, let's just go Why up to the... Why is it opening? Let's just go Stanley up to the boss's office. Stanley the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Um, yeah, let's do it, I guess. Or stare at tools longer, <laughs> I don't know. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Stop pushing boundaries, man. <laughs> we already hurt his feelings a lot. <laughs> it was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting <laughs> in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least, if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> <laughs> are you... are you really still in the room? <laughs> standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Can we go up to the boss's office now? <laughs> You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? <laughs> if I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Maybe to you, this is somehow its own branching <laughs> Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending is my favorite. I hope you're friends with this concern. I swear to God, the game ends here. was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> because of a family connection, that's how stupid he is. Oh my and god. Time, also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. <laughs> he or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game <laughs> mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. <laughs> All right, when you've done oh, that, beautiful. just step out into the hallway. That was worth waiting. Why are you doing things? Hmm. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. 
You too? <laughs> At the mercy of an entire species of invalids. <laughs> oh my you god. A monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Yeah, I think that was the final straw. <laughs> You're really pushing this. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I feel like oh, okay, fine. To be fair, it is a pretty sweet broom closet. Yeah. We can Coming go down to now. A staircase. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's well, office. I guess we're going downstairs now. <laughs> but Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, uh -oh. why had oh he God. taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. Are we caught in a loop, or is this is just a circular this, hallway? He began to make other strange observations. We're caught in a loop. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt it. to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. Mm. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I might as well really enjoy love this while I'm still yeah. lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Oh, oh God. good lord. Oh, God. Then oh no. He imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field and it too appeared. It was oh so my God. much fun <laughs> and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? I'm dreaming! And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. <clears throat> One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the hmm. voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, <laughs> who found it particularly oh my God. <laughs> strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing this the voice so speak trippy. these words <laughs> was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. We were Did just the voice flying. see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? Yeah. How else would the voice explain all that? Yeah, yeah this explain voice that. was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just He would prove it. He would prove that he was Oops. in control. That this was a dream. Maybe stop walking? So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. Give it to us, voice. My life is normal. Yes. I am normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. Everything, Everything will, will be, be fine. fine. I am okay. I, I am okay. God damn it. <laughs>
Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, oh. just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Uh. Well, this is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? <laughs> Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. <laughs> huh. Although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know really what rubbing it in, huh? And what isn't. <laughs> it was comforting to think this. This and does have a very Gary's Mod look to it. This man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. <laughs> the heck? Is this still all new to you? Uh, that previous one I saw before. What, running in the basement? Yep. Okay. All of his co-workers right. were gone. What oh, whoa, whoa, oh, <laughs> we got Stand the box the, the, the shipment meeting. arrived! Perhaps he had simply missed <laughs> We got the boxes! Oh my god. Our delivery of boxes arrived! Oh my oh, god. This, if this world just keeps progressing, and it's, oh my god, this is fascinating. This is so great. Did you know about this? I didn't know the boxes would arrive, no. Like that the world keeps doing this? I, I, I knew that there is some, there is a sense of progression to like the way like your your choices change the world. Yeah. I've never seen the boxes. Gotta look for another uh, input computer. I don't think I can reach any if the the boxes are in the way. So many boxes, future happiness. I and guess. I, I keep checking the same doors over and over again just to see if. Yeah, like, they. If, if we went to like a, another broom closet situation <clears throat> of, yeah, of a new door. Can, yeah, suddenly we can get in. Look at all the boxes. Good lord. We got our boxes. What is that? It's like a drawing of a tentacle man or something, and he's saying, No! What the? Do you, oh. you see that? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what okay, the heck that. is that? <laughs> Jeez, oh, look what? at it. Wait, uh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Yet there was not a single let's just, person here either. Let's just listen to what he, a wave what of he disbelief, says. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, let's go okay. see the boss. Okay. Okay, it's the same as before. Hmm. All this oh. nice fancy wood. There's a plaque there this time. Where? That that door that you're just looking at. That plaque was not there before. Really? Mm. It wasn't. I'm positive. I wonder, if, I wonder if this is just gonna show us the same thing that we did before. No. Nope. Oh no, it's not! Oh my god! <laughs> Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. Let's find out this terrible and truth. And so the boss had assigned it an extra Find secret you. pin number. Where? 2845. Oh. Two. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Eight. <laughs> Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. What's happening? He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Where? Oh, oh, oh good whoa. lord. Huh. Hey, 
Hey, wait, didn't he say something earlier about an underground facility? I think he, yes, I think he did. Oh my. Maybe this is the original path. I don't know. <laughs> the original path didn't have all those boxes. <laughs> oh, well, minus the boxes. Because he did say, yeah, Just the underground facility, if, building, if we listen to Stanley him. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Hmm. Stanley walked straight ahead through uh -oh. the large door that read Mind Control Facility. <laughs> oh, the writing's on the wall, huh? <laughs> what are we just going to escape now? <laughs> had the word escape written on it. The truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Fuck! Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh god. What? what have you done? Oh no. What have you done? Oh gee. You see, that's what you get for not listening to narrator man. Wait, wait, oh, a wait. Oh. Stanley thought better of Okay, good. Okay, I think I turned around and okay, good. Had too much okay. to live for. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's so frightening. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. We're we're listening. And I don't we're, want to die. We're being good. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley this the Matrix? Himself. Did he have yes. the strength to find out? What's on the clipboard? What, this one? Mm. This is like a bunch of numbers. Well, I can barely make out what it is. I am in awe with this game. Yeah? Oh, button. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Okay. I've never seen this. We're seeing an actual story. He got so mad at us for breaking it before. <laughs> I think this is the, this is the story he wanted to this tell the whole time. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Like Had I got fired. Had he been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? I no. Guess. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable. Oh Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? He is in control, though, because we're doing it. <laughs> but here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Still doesn't but how? It still doesn't explain why everyone's gone, though. Oh, wait, no, for some lady power. Okay, I'm, yes. gonna, I'm gonna go through there. That's probably how you turn it off. <laughs> I mean, he's got these big signs for us to follow. Wait, wait. Ooh, Giant red, red button. Mm, big red button. Oh, I can't press it? No. I guess not. Aw. <clears throat> it doesn't look like you can interact with any of it, despite how shiny all of it is. Mind controls idle awaiting input. Turn off this machine. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. You want to press on, don't you? 
I wasn't exactly thinking about it, but now I... Uh, <laughs> uh, Alright, let's just, let's just see the real... Let's just see what he wanted to tell. Yeah. Did it work? I don't know. Did we win? I don't know. Blackness. Uh, and a rising chill of uncertainty. Yeah, I'd say that, yeah. Was it over? Stop describing how we're feeling. <laughs> yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. Ooh, birds. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. Okay. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. He is so beautiful. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that this was is like painted on me, just hit a wall. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped. Yeah, his ex is just painted on. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way out. Oh, whoa. Stanley whoa. felt the cool breeze upon his skin. Can you the turn feeling around? of liberation. I've lost control. The immense possibility of the new path. Look, this, is oh my God. this is not me doing this. This is exactly the way. Right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Oh, what do you know? <laughs> we beat the game. That was the real story. We beat the real story. Oh my god, I mean, like, we could just keep going, but... Uh... This... Doesn't look the same as it did before, does it? It doesn't. Oh God! It's just directly. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh my God! This is. It just keeps going. Yeah. Do we want to listen to him this time? Jeez, uh... Maybe there's something different through the right, or will he just get mad again? I don't know. There's so many questions. Oh God! I don't know what to do. Don't make me choose. <laughs> Uh, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I feel like I have to know if this game will ever repeat content on the same file. Mm. Let's wait till he finishes wow. talking. Before yes, we... this room. What a beautiful room. He's not saying what the same a gorgeous, thing as he did before. I don't think it's room. Yeah. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. Life without having experienced this room was now too horrible even to consider. He's so sarcastic. <laughs> but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Let's do you know, as he says. You know what? We never did this before. I don't... Yeah, we didn't. Let's do as he says. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Oh, that is so tempting. <sighs> we could press a big red button and go down, but what if it just takes us there again? I don't know. What do you want to do? I'm going to keep going this way. Wait, oh, this is the D. Oh, wait. Ah! Ah. Ah, hmm. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Back to the boss's office. I wonder how many endings there are in this. Does it still say executive wife? Okay. <gasps> oh! 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 Let's go, in this. Oh uh, let's go inside the executive bathroom. No! Uh! <laughs> money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, 
Money crisp. <laughs> Can I flush the toilet? Nope. Oh. Did you do that? I closed the door, yeah. How'd you reach it? I don't know. Are we gonna stand here to provoke him again? I don't know. Oh god, I don't know where this I don't know where this can go. We couldn't come in here before. I don't wanna leave. Oh, wait, sorry, my bad. I looked around and I thought the wall I thought it was gone at first. Yeah, it looked like it for a second. Uh maybe those double doors are open. Oh my god. Oh hey, look, there's the man executing a panda again. <laughs> An elevator. Where will it go? Oh god. Oh my goodness, I can choose. Wait. Wait, no, I can't. Oh, wait, I can't. I think I can choose. Up or down? Uh, we've done a lot of down. You wanna go up? Let's go up. He's not giving a shit. He's not saying anything. Why isn't he. Why isn't he giving a shit? This music is too pleasant. I'm nervous. I keep expecting, like, monsters to jump out and get <laughs> us. <laughs> like, what would have killed us at the end of that hallway? I don't know. Did Stanley just sing with the music? I think that might have been the music itself. Okay. The, the, the anticipation right now is kind of killing me. How about them Knicks? <laughs> <laughs> no, he is singing with it. That that's him? I'm pretty certain that's him. What? How long were we riding that for? Want to try going down? Yes. The elevator was moving. It was! Or at least shaking. What if it was just the elevator simulator? Oh god, no. Simulates riding in an elevator. That was a little bit of a letdown, to be honest, actually. <laughs> Especially since he won't say anything to us. Acknowledge us. Acknowledge our misbehavior. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's doing anything. Huh. That's a little bit of a downer. Let's see if that leads to anything. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, <laughs> he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. <laughs> I'm finding this very relaxing. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, <laughs> Stanley oh. calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Aw, oh, what if we just see the same thing again? You run down the hallway to your death. <laughs> I want to know if you if you can repeat content, but I don't want to just see the like I want to I want to know, but I don't want to see. Yeah. Well, especially not for this. Yeah. Wait a minute. He skipped over some things. Wait a minute. Uh, There's supposed to be riding in the elevator stuff. This doesn't look the same, does it? Stanley walks straight oh. ahead oh, through the, the large same. door that read Mind Control Facility. Let's just get out of here. He did not. Although this passageway had the word Escape written on it. The truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Well, we'll just see, Mr. Narrator. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity <laughs> to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Damn right. Bring it on. Is it just an incinerator? Or are we just gonna fall? Let's do it! What? We're not dead. 
What's all this noise? Word into motion, and Stanley was inched closer and closer. Oh, jeez! He reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Oh. Stanley well, see the bigger picture. Well, we're boned. Was this built specifically for people for trying to escape? Did they write escape on the wall himself? Themselves? Was of no great loss, Scribbled it. Like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Never that. Try to find a way out. I think there's a way out. I can't jump. Farewell, Stanley cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. Fucking In a what? visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Who's she? Maybe she's the narrator from Stranger Than Fiction. Who's she? <laughs> What's going on? What? Okay. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Is this the narrator's narrator? Yes, I think so. What? When in... every path you can walk has been oh. created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Oh my god. Son of a bitch. This is just the map of the game. Oh my god. Wait, why is that why is that room with the two doors a contradiction? Because the narrator says you take the door on your left but you can not. An exploration of the contradiction in this room posed. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Huh. This is filing cabinet. This is something. One of those pictures. Which picture is these? Just the nature paintings they use? Is this just like the assets of the game but scaled down? I think and and like in the museum like like way kinda of like the ending of, of Thirty Flights of Loving? I I don't know. <laughs> Maybe? Oh my god, I got a here on it and I turned it off. I don't know what to make of this exactly. Wait, wait. The button? Button sounds. There are five different button sounds in this game. I missed two. Oh my god. It's just the museum of the game's assets. <laughs> Stanley Parable HD Remix. Is to lose? <laughs> what? What? Oh my god. What is this? <laughs> What? What? This wasn't in the game. Tron? What? <laughs> we designed an ending where. Wait, what? Oh, oh sorry. Where it would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens. The action game, the action game would become sentient and would wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it that it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people interpret it as making fun of people who like shooters, which is not our intention. <laughs> okay. You know what? This ending is the best way to end this video. Can we finish looking at this? Yeah, I, no, I mean, like, like just this, the idea that we were just looking at the assets of this and the ideas of yeah. this game. Yeah. Like, I wonder if, th if there's an ending to this part. I don't know. Surely there must be. What are like, those switches? We never saw those. We ne We didn't. Oh, exit. Okay. Okay. Are we done looking? I I kind of want to look more. I mean, we can look around a bit more, but just... I'm just happy that... Because there are, like, branching paths in these rooms. Mm -hmm. I'm just happy to find an exit sign. Yeah. Countdown desk. The freedom ending? What the heck? <laughs> is this, like, a thing most people haven't seen? Yeah, I think a lot of this is, like, stuff 
that's not in the main game. Though a lot of the early stuff in this in this area. No, no, I, I just mean I'm curious how many people have gotten to this oh. point. And I wonder how many endings you have to see in order to be able to get to this point in the first place. Do you have to die? Would we have seen this last time? I don't know. So many unanswered questions. I wonder if we would have just got straight up crushed and then the game would have restarted or... I don't know. I don't know. Oh, jeez. What about our boxes? Yes, what about our boxes? Wait, no, not yet. What? There's a staircase over there. Where? Left. Over there. There? Let's go see what's there. There's things. Freedom ending, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't go down there. Not yet, you can't. Oh, but I want to get lost. Uh, fascinating. Poor Stanley. I hear talking. The voice of the narrator recorded dialogue. Oh, I don't know. How about they're throwing a surprise party for him for all his button pushing? <laughs> oh, I can barely hear any other ones. Uh -huh. This is a room full of narrator outtakes. Yeah. Now look closely, Stanley. Nah, I can't hear them clearly enough. For the player to do anything in this room. Perfect. I'm glad we came here, though. Yeah. I guess we take the exit now? Yep. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. We can turn the Stanley Terrible off. Parable, eh. Uh, sorry, I said, like, terrible or something. <laughs> can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You what? can still oh, save God. these two. What? You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape what? and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and be your only true choice. I don't know if that's an actual- Look, like, what if that actually is an in-game choice? Like, I wouldn't put that past them. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time Well. We're dead. Oh, I wonder if that just isn't- oh. You really want to know if, if quitting would have been an option, don't you? I- yeah. I wonder what's gonna happen here. Maybe we have to quit. We're dead. Oh god, we have to quit. It will not- I don't think it's gonna load anything beyond this. Well, we are dead. The loop is over. Should- should we quit? I think we're- yeah, I think it's time to quit, yeah. That's the Stanley Parable, <laughs> apparently. I think that's a good- a good place to end it there, yeah. Oh my. Any okay. closing I'm looking at the monitor. Remarks? <laughs> I don't know. I, this game was a lot... I mean, I thought this game was pretty fascinating, but good lord, this goes in, in some really interesting directions. This is literally... <laughs> was, well, figuratively, like going down a rabbit hole in frickin' Wonderland or something. Like, this is just... I don't know what the heck is going to happen next. Oh my god. Oh, there, were, there were a lot of great games that came out this year. This game... Like, especially from, from smaller titles like this. That was just fantastic. So yeah, I'm gonna have to reconsider my game of the year stuff again. <laughs> Good luck with but, that. But I'm glad. I'm really, really glad I actually put some time into this. Oh my. But yeah, okay. You know, before we start to ramble to <laughs> at this ending, I think we should pretty much end this right here. All right. All right. Thanks for watching. Good lord, that was fun. <laughs> I have nothing else. Do you really want to end on screeching <laughs> noises?